Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a podcast using Squarespace. Squarespace is an excellent option when it comes to hosting services, and if you're an avid podcast listener like I am, you've probably heard a Squarespace ad on your favorite show by now. If you're still deciding on a podcast hosting service, remember that having complete control over your website, domain name, and RSS feed will save you enormous headaches in the future, and Squarespace has seamlessly integrated podcasting into its website builder. Before we begin, be sure to check out Squarespace's official guide to podcasting on their support site. I'll include a link to the article in the description. Now, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a new blog page. So we're going to go into create a new page and into blog and we are going to name it after our podcast. I'm going to use an acronym for this. And you will have created a new blog page. So the first thing you need to do is go into the blog settings. Now the first thing I'm going to do is change the page title to the actual name of the podcast and I'm going to add my show description in this section here. I'm using the acronym because it's a little bit tidier in the URL slug, a little bit better for SEO. Now in the syndication section I'm going to enable RSS tags. Now these will allow me to specify all of the options that iTunes requires for its podcasts. First thing I'm going to do is add in the author the subtitle, a description uh, for my show which is uh, the iTunes summary. Uh, keep in mind that iTunes has a character limit of 256 words so be sure to keep it within that, uh, that character limit. Now you can add iTunes search keywords which will help people find your podcast when they're searching within iTunes. These aren't uh, visible on the iTunes interface, but they will definitely help uh, your show get discovered. So I'll add in some keywords here. The iTunes category that uh, I've selected here will be arts, and uh, my subcategory is society and culture. You can find a full list of the iTunes categories in the uh, Squarespace help section for podcasting. In this section you can add the iTunes owner and the iTunes owner email so those will be your name and your email. Here you can upload your iTunes cover art. The images must be a minimum of 1400 by 1400 and a maximum size of 3000 by 3000 pixels. I'm going to add my cover art that I created in Canva. Mine is a JPEG at 1400 by 1400. Here you can select if your show has explicit content and this section is reserved if you're actually moving your feed uh, from an old feed to Squarespace. So now we'll save it and now we can create our first podcast episode. We will click on add post, enter in our podcast title. We can write in our show description. And now the important part. Time to embed our audio. So we will add an audio block and we will add our audio track. Now you'll have to wait a little while while the file uploads to the site. All right, now that it's finished downloading, uh, I'm going to just change this. And it is time to add all of our specific podcast settings for each of our episodes. So under the iTunes subtitle, we're actually going to use our episode title. In the iTunes summary, we're going to add the description. As it says, this is the more detailed information shown when the I information icon is clicked. So we'll add that. Again, we'll add in our search keywords. And we will include 
our episode duration. Our episode is actually exactly two minutes long. And this episode does not contain explicit content. Under design, I'm going to make it so that it is downloadable on the website. And I'm, you can choose between the classic player, which in my opinion doesn't look very nice, or the nice clean minimal. You can also change the player color to light or dark. I'm going to keep dark. And we are going to apply our changes. And now that we've saved and published our episode, we have created our first podcast episode. So the last thing we're going to do before we finish this tutorial is we are going to test our RSS feed inside of iTunes to make sure it all works and fix anything that comes up. So to find our RSS feed, reverting back to our uh, support article, you can find it here. It will be at uh, whatever your site name is called, .squarespace.com, and then whatever you have named the blog page. Uh, and then it will be a question mark format dash RSS. So let's take a look at my RSS feed here. As you can see, it's not very pretty, but that doesn't matter because it's going to be used by iTunes and other podcatchers to pull all of our information from our site so that people can download our episodes. So now we will go inside of iTunes, we'll go to File, and then Subscribe to Podcast. We'll enter in our RSS feed, we'll go to Refresh, and I already see a mistake. It has my site title inside my podcast title. So to fix that, I'm going to go back inside of Squarespace. We're going to go into Settings, and then Marketing. SEO and we are going to change our collection title format so collections are top level things like blog gallery album or events collections and right now we have it set so our collection title format is our collection title our blog name and then the site name so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that and save it and now we'll refresh this and we'll try this again subscribe enter it in and refresh and the site title has been removed now that you finish testing your feed, your next steps will be submitting it to iTunes and other podcatchers and continuing to create killer audio content. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching.